By the way, what made you want to leave? I'm sure you've been asked that a million times. Is it like, is it just exhausting? Or you want one. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> get it. That's 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 too busy talking to hear the joke guy. I'm sorry, that's funny. Got a lot of characters, Jerry. Uh, what what uh what made you want to to, to go? Uh, it was kind of like you sign up and it's seven season contract, and oh. I finished seven seasons. I did so many digital shorts, which are you know when you do a short, usually you're starting on Thursday, so you've already had the crazy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So weeks for me were very very heavy. Um. And the guys I did them with primarily, the Lonely Island guys, Akiva and Yorma, ha have both moved on. And they were nice enough to come back and help me out with some of the shorts this year. But I kind of just felt like, I don't know. I could, I think I could have done another year and had a great time. But for whatever reason, just internally inside, I felt like it was time. I can't really explain it. Uh, but most guys sign up for seven years? They, you sign a contract for seven years before you are allowed to audition for the show. That if you get it, you seven will. Seven years. Yeah, you're there for seven. But wow. The truth is, if you get on there and you hate it, Lauren's not going to like sue you if you right. Hate it. Right, right, so, gotcha. And if and if they don't like you, they just fire you. Right. So <laughs> it's not like a binding seven year thing. What yeah. was the audition process like? Did you want to go out for it? Did they request to see you or? Oh, I was dying to do it. Oh, you wanted. It to. was like my dream job since I was eight. It's crazy. Hmm. So I got the call, being like, "Hey, you know, do you want to audition for SNL?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's um, a pretty good call." Yeah. But I also had, like, no sketch experience other than stuff we had pre-taped and put on our website. Like, we were always kind of, like, video guys. Um, mm. So I had to, like, kind of in a, a week throw together an audition. So I just I did a lot of stand-up and then, like, sort of patched together some weird characters and impressions. But it, it was more about the jokes I made in between the stuff I did, right. I think, than the other stuff that got me What hired. What impressions did you do for the audition for Lauren? I did Fallon. Um, mm. I did Jimmy Fallon at a funeral. Oh, shit. Uh, he's, he's still pretty happy. <laughs> um, and I still pretty happy. Yeah, that's, oh, that's right. It's so idea. sad. It's so sad. <laughs> that's great. How's it going, man? Oh, man. <laughs> Which fi I finally got to do it on the show when he hosted this year. Oh, man. That's uh, great. But yeah. And it was it was also like he got me the audition. So it was kind of like a, yeah, that is cool. a, a wink wink or whatever. But uh <laughs> I did a one-word Alan Rickman impression, which was just uh, McLean. <laughs> <laughs> that was all the other thing. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, this guy's got the goods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what else. Did think, you do Cage? No, I hadn't. Oh, I didn't, didn't know I could do it yet. I did Billy Bob Thornton, which was just a lot of talking oh. about Kangles. Kangles or Kangos? Kangle hats. Oh, Kangle, yeah, like, I used yeah, to wear them. Kangles, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, lot of one-word like impressions. Like yeah. I tried to like get in and get out and be like, "I seem fun." Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was good. It's, but yeah, I, I wonder if you could do more words with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you want to leave them wanting more. Always, yeah. Like a second syllable. He does the best because he sounds just <laughs> like that guy saying because.